Tonight, a new rule from the Trump administration on immigration. The U.S. will impose new visa restrictions targeting pregnant women. The Trump administration wants to stop what's known as, quote, birth tourism. 11 Alive's Elwin Lopez has been digging into the story for us today. Elwin, what have we learned about this? Yeah, it's something that the president, that President Trump has long said he wanted to put an end to. Birth tourism, that's where a pregnant foreigner comes to the United States to have her baby. Now the Trump administration is trying to crack down on it by making it more difficult difficult for pregnant women to get a tourist visa. You have to get rid of, yes, you have to. What they're doing, they're having a baby, and all of a sudden, nobody knows. You believe the baby's that, here. You, believe you have no choice. In 2015, then-candidate Donald Trump called for an end to birthright citizenship, claiming it was the, quote, biggest magnet for illegal immigration. Birth tourism is a lucrative business, moms-to-be coming from as far as Russia and China to give birth in the United States. Babies born on U.S. soil to foreign parents are U.S. citizens. It's called birthright citizenship and it's protected in the United States by the Constitution under the 14th Amendment. Immigration attorney Mary Lynn Tedesco says the new rules heightens the burden for all women to prove they are traveling to the United States for tourism purposes and not for birth tourism. So if it's because you're coming to visit your cousins or you're going to visit a school, you've got to have that documentation up front. Um, but it certainly makes the process more cumbersome than it already is. Right now, consular officials don't ask women whether they are pregnant or not when they apply for a tourist visa. So the big question here is how will they know someone is coming to the United States to give birth? I mean, a woman could have just had an abdominal surgery and she's very swollen. Um, maybe she's not coming to the United States to have any medical treatment whatsoever, but now she's got to meet this higher burden of proof that she's not coming to the United States to have baby or, or get other medical treatment.